Listener-supported Heartland Public Radio has its own app for the Apple iPad. For a complete listing of all of our applications, please visit apps.hpr.org or find the link from the Heartland Public Radio homepage at hpr.org. Welcome into the Gospel Music Jukebox. I'm your host, Evangelist Brother Eddie Cheney. And man, did we open a can of worms last night. Well, I didn't open them. I mean, I was asked a question, and, uh, you know, uh, I answered it. The, you know, they asked me, uh, did I believe in women pastors? And I said, no, because of the Word of God. It's hard for a female to be a male, you know, but 
<laughs> but I love my sisters. And then I, uh, I just got in from work and I jumped over and read the post. I tried to put up Bible stuff so they could go and read it themselves and things. And man, um, you know, uh, people put words in your mouth. I, I, I never said I did not believe in women ministers or women prophetess or women evangelists. I never said that. Uh, I'm just sharing the word of God. So I'll continue to go on. And go forward if it is just me and Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Because the Lord's good. He's been good to me. And if you're born again, bathed in the blood, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you're his sheep, you hear his voice. And no other voice will you follow. And, and, and I know, uh, like I said uh, uh, the uh, last night, uh, excuse me, bear with me. Uh, whew, mm, amen. Glory to God. Thank you for your prayers. But... Um, uh, like I was saying last night that, uh, you know, I know that there's women that absolutely uh, have more anointing, uh, more gifts, uh, but that still doesn't change the fact to what the Word of God says about uh, elders and uh, when it says he, you know, he, you know, just like the Holy Ghost is a he. But anyway, a gentleman at that, right? So just pray for me. If you disagree, that's okay. Don't don't chop my head off. Uh, you know, we ain't gone yet. It ain't over. You know, it ain't over. So uh, we just got to keep reading, studying, praying, and fasting. And as always, even if you disagree with me or I disagree with you, I encourage you to obey the Lord for yourself. Always remember that. Because listen, when I die, it's the Lord I'm going to stand before. When you die, it's the Lord you're going to stand before. And you're either going to hear him say, enter in or depart from me, and so will I. Uh, let every man work out his own uh, salvation his, with fear and tremble before the Lord. Amen. All right, we got our InSpeak group up. I've got the email going. Man, <clears throat> I've had more emails over this one, uh, like 300 and something. Uh Look like about 50 of them said they're women. They'll never listen to the gospel jukebox again. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, well, I'm sorry for that because I, I really enjoy the women that call in. Uh, you know, uh, whether or not uh, we agree on this particular topic has nothing to do with the anointing of God for me. You know, it really doesn't. So with that said, let me get over here and check the chat room. Amen. See what's happening. I'm multitasking again. Amen. Amen. Apostle Clovis Robinson, I'm here. Can be. I can back you up with the word. Amen, brother. Uh, hello, all. Love y'all. Sister Rachel. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> all right, you guys, kind of bear with me because I'm just now getting all this equipment fired up and warmed up and going. We had a truck break down uh, on the road loaded, and I just had to go pull the dry shaft. Well, they throwed the dry shaft out, broke the boats off in the yoke. I had to get them out and uh, go get new ones, put a U-joint in, all that good stuff. And uh, praise the Lord, and just walked through the door, grabbed a bite to eat, and then headed out the back door and down here, amen, to uh, get up and out on the air. And, and, and just let people know, you know, like I said, you know, um, I never said I did not believe in uh, women ministering the word or carrying the word, ever how they say it. I may pop over there and try to share some of those comments. You know, I just find it funny how people don't read and don't, uh, you know, all the way to the end of a matter. The word of God's not going to change to suit me. It's not going to change to suit you. The word of God says what it says. It means what it says. It says what it means. And, uh, you know, don't take away, don't add to, uh, you know, sometimes we paraphrase when we're saying things and different things, but we, we know the common denominator. But um, anyway, I love my sisters in the Lord, and I love Sister Rachel. Uh, I hope I still can come to your house uh, over the weekend. I don't know if it upset you or not, but, uh, man, from looking at these emails, if they was, um, <clears throat> if they was a rope, all these women would hang me. <laughs> <laughs> but they crucified Jesus, right? The very religious people, they, they, they hollered crucify him. They was women and all, wasn't they? Men, everything. So, um, you know, I count it uh, a, a joy and an honor, and uh, I give God all the praise. It, it, it is uh, interesting how people jump to conclusions. But uh, still doesn't change the fact, does it? The Word of God is the Word of God. It's the truth, and uh, it'll set us free. 
and whom the Son is set free is free indeed. You know, so work out your own. But I'm going to continue to share Scripture. I'm going to continue to quote the Word. I'm going to continue to share whatever God puts on my heart. If you don't like what goes on at the Gospel Music Jukebox, do like these 50 do. Wave by, pray for me, and uh, go on about your business, and I'll continue on with mine. But now there ain't no sense getting into name calling and and all that and cursing people and you know boy you better you know I don't want to curse you I don't want to I'm not talking about like cursing the Bible now I'm talking about cussing you out <laughs> you know you know I don't want to cuss nobody out I don't want nobody cussing me out you know but you can pray for me and as always obey the Lord with whatever He tells you to do you do that and you'll be blessed and we'll be blessed Amen uh, let's see well always welcome here. That is, and that's all I can see. <laughs> oh, oh, she said, <laughs> I, I know, sis. I love you. I love Pastor Jordan. Uh, amen. Love you all. I love, I love my queen of multitasking down there in right ends in Mississippi. I wish, wish I had her, wish I had her, had her, had a nudge just like her right here to type and things for me. Let's see. Okay, chat room says, can't get mad. Praise God for the truth. We must serve in truth and righteousness. Amen. <laughs> oh, I see the rest of that post. This is a sensitive subject for sure, but got to love whether we agree always or not. That's why we got got to study and pray on it. Amen. Some get it. You know, I'm slow to get things. That's You know, I really am. I've had uh, people like Apostle Clovis in my life, all most of my life. I've had um, different people, um, you know, that would encourage me, and it would take me longer to get it <laughs> uh, because my mind stays cluttered. You know, you, to get it from the Lord, you got to get in there and be uh, silent and just listen for the voice of the Lord. And a lot of times where I'm a mechanic and I work long hours, my mind, it takes me a while to shake that stuff out of my mind. Let me see here. Teresa Holland says, please keep uh, her daughter uh Jessamine, in your prayer she had her uh tonsils taken out friday and she's having a hard time she's not wanting to eat or drink i hate seeing her in pain yes lord we do uh yes lord Dear Heavenly Father, right now, Lord, you know the need, you know the situation, and Lord, we stand upon your word and your promises uh, for this child, Lord, and, and, and we just ask that you would minister in only the way that you can. We speak life, health, and prosperity in this situation. We claim victory through and by of the blood of Christ, our precious Lord and Savior. Lord, we know that you're on the scene, and we give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. God's good. Hey, good to see you, uh, Bobby. Hey, Brother Bobby. Hello, all, he says. God bless you, man. Uh, been a while, uh, but sometimes you may be coming in and out, and I don't see you because my chat thing does not work right where I have music players open and so much stuff going that uh, sometimes I can't even, I can't even uh, see it. <laughs> uh, amen. I'm I'm going to read that. Now, you all know you're welcome to call in. The phone number's right there at the top of the thing, the Gospel Music Jukebox. It's uh, live during the program if you'd like to call in and uh, be heard right here on the Gospel Music Jukebox, even if you disagree with me. <laughs> but I'm going to voice my opinion. No, I ain't. I don't like my opinion. My opinion ain't worth a hill of beans. But I will share with you the Word of God. Uh, sometimes we do get beside ourselves, don't we, and uh, paraphrase things. <laughs> but anyway, you're welcome to call in and participate in the program, and especially the sisters, my sisters in the Lord. Um, 